In today's video, I want to tell you about Curve Hair, which is a new Blender add-on by Koshiro CG to create hair using curve objects. From the first impressions, it might look like a small add-on and a specialized tool designed for character artists or anyone who models hair strands with curves in Blender, but it can actually be useful. So what can it do and how does it work? So if you've ever used curves to model hair, you know it can be a bit fiddly to get the strand shape just right. It is not a massive hair system or anything, but more like a handy quality of light week when it comes to your hair workflow. But it has been getting some attention for how simple yet useful it is. The core idea is that curve hair is pretty straightforward. It lets you snap the hair strands profile object, the curve used as the strands cross selection shape, to the end of the curve so you can edit it in place. In practice, this means you can move your hair's bevel profile to the tip of the strand and adjust it right where the strand ends. So instead of doing the editing blindly from afar, this makes shaping the hair much easier because you're tweaking the profile exactly where it needs to be. And the atom works with any kind of curve that you might use hair for, whether it is a Bezier curve, Norbs curve, or a path. And it even supports hair objects that have multiple splines or multiple strands with a single curve object. So if you've modeled a bunch of hair strands as one curve object, curve hair can handle that just fine. Another neat feature included in this add-on is the separate spline option. This lets you take an individual strand or spline from a multi-strand curve object and isolate it as a new curve object, carrying over its profile shape in the process. This is super useful if you blocked out the hairstyle with many curves in one object and later decided that you want to tweak a particular strand on its own. And despite all these capabilities, the tool is actually easy to use. In fact, we don't even have to hunt through menus to find it. Once installed, you can simply select a curve in object mode, right click in the 3D viewport, and you will see a curve hair entry at the bottom of Blender's context menu. All of its functions, like moving the profile or separating splines, are accessible through the little right click submenu, which keeps things feeling native and quick. The add-on also comes with handy safe object location and load object location functions for your profile object. Essentially, you can save the original position of the profile, say at the hair strand root or whatever you initially had it before moving it, and later load that saved location to snap the profile back to its original spot. This means you have the freedom to move the profile around for editing, for example, the tip of the hair or even somewhere in the middle, and then easily put it back exactly where it was once you are done tweaking. This is great for keeping your scene organized because you won't lose track of where the profile was meant to be. On top of that, the add-on has a small but a welcome fix for curve-based hair shading. It includes a function to automatically adjust the curve's order use setting to match the number of points in your strand. In other words, this helps smooth out the shading of the hair strand by ensuring the curve's interpolation is optimized for however many points that you have. So if you've ever seen a curved strand look a bit too odd, or maybe faceted, because the curve order was off, this feature handles it for you behind the scenes, giving you a nicer and smoother result. Another cool thing is that you are not limited to moving the profile only to the very tip of the hair, because you can also position it anywhere along the curve, like the midpoint, if that makes editing easier. So if you are interested in this add-on, you will find all the necessary links in the description. And there you have it, guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to this channel to receive more news like this. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.